Aston Martin Vanquish S Long Term Review When somebody far too good for you walks into your life and then, upon realizing they're far too good for you, walks straight out of it again, leaving you heartbroken, there is grieving. On a not unrelated note, soon this Aston Martin Vanquish S will be leaving Auto Car Towers to return to its maker. The Vanquish exudes a kind of passing era feeling, doesn't it? I know, it'll stay on sale until 2019, but what with it being the last of the naturally aspirated V12S, and what with it being the last Aston that will die with the VH architecture beneath it, it will be, when it goes, the close of a relatively happy, and particularly significant, chapter in Aston Martin's history. How, then? Do you prepare to bid farewell to one of the world's finest GT cars, I wondered. Should I weep? Deny? Bargain? Send it a mixtape of meaningful songs? Write a poem, like Lewis Hamilton on Princess D? Oh Vanquish! You were the world's best 2 plus 2. It was funny the way CEO Rokbez used to pronounce you. Your blue and white paint, like Italian pottery, is a la mode. You'd win first in a concours at a Goodwood Festival of Spode. If there was one. No. I think you go for a long drive and enjoy it while it lasts. So I did, to Scotland, because it's big and beautiful and the roads are fabulous and quiet and people don't mind when you overtake them, and because I had a few days to spare, and the weather looked iffy enough to leave the motorbike at home. A super GT car like the Vanquish ought to be in its element on a drive like this, north, via Edinburgh, with no particular destination other than west coast, perhaps in mind. And so it was. With a 78-liter fuel tank, it has a realistic range of more than 400 miles because this is, remarkably, one of those cars in which it's possible to not just match but also easily beat the official. 21.6 miles per gallon, combined fuel economy. I suspect Aston doesn't spend quite as much time as other car makers trying to optimize its cars for a lab test, 